This is about the Seabird aircraft, a very advanced concept of very light aircraft design and construction. The project is a private venture of Don and Peter Adams of Seabird Aviation in Harvey Bay, Queensland, Australia. Before we show you more of the Seabird's flying performance, Don Adams will tell you about the features of this remarkable little aircraft. We'll walk around the aircraft now and I'll show you some of the main features. This hinge nose contains the starting battery and the steering mechanism for the nose wheel with the rubber blocks in compression that take the shock absorbing from the wheel. The nose wheel steers through the rudder pedals and it moves very easily and as you will see ground manoeuvrability is very good. The control stick moves in the normal fashion. All controls are mounted on ball bearing pivots and uh, there's very little friction in the system. This lever here actuates the nose wheel brake. Over here is the normal throttle and mixture controls. Up here in the instrument panel is a fuel gauge, airspeed indicator, tachometer, altimeter and cylinder head temperature gauge. This is a starter button and this is ignition switch that turns the engine on or off. The undercarriage leg is one complete unit that extends right across. It's a foam composite structure of Kevlar and unidirectional glass very strong and very light. The secret of the Seabird's performance is really the wing. This is a quite a thin wing for this type of aeroplane. It's a NASA designed wing section, specially designed for low drag, high lift at low air speeds. This whole front section of the wing is a Kevlar moulding. It's built in a mould so that the whole surface is very smooth and ma maintains the section as it was designed. The wing tip is also a Kevlar moulding with washout built into the tip. Behind the main spar the covering is Dacron with the covering material treated with ultraviolet protection material. The full span ailerons have a very close gap seal and we've gone to a lot of trouble on all control surfaces to make this gap seal very tight. The whole fuselage structure of this aircraft is a Kevlar foam sandwich. This enables us to make a shape that has very little drag and at the same time is very light. Looking at the engine, this is a German Koenig four-cylinder of 30 horsepower. It develops its horsepower at very low revolutions per minute. It drives a ground adjustable propeller through a tooth belt reduction gear. The engine is suspended on a cast alloy mount there are four separate ignition systems. The engine runs very slowly and very quietly and it's designed as an aircraft engine, not a conversion from some other use. It has an overhaul life of 500 hours. The stabilator is actuated by a push rod through the boom the rudder is attached to the rudder pedals by these two stainless cables. The fin is moulded at the same time as the boom and fuselage. The whole aircraft is constructed of aircraft quality materials and the structure has been proof loaded to FAR 23 utility category standards. 
6.6 G's ultimate on the wings and 9 G's on the engine mount. Now, let's go and fly. Note the good ground steering and small turning circle. The takeoff run is about 50 metres. This is with a 90 kilogram pilot and a 10 kilogram fuel load. Note the high rate of roll and the way the aircraft maintains its speed in turns. Now, here's a stall. The stick is hard back and the nose is bobbing up and down at 26 knots. The aircraft is flying very slowly at about 35 knots. It can still turn and manoeuvre. The Seabird is flying past at about 80 knots. Note the pitch stability. With the engine stopped, it will glide almost as well as many sailplanes. That short demonstration shows how safe and manoeuvrable the Seabird is. The pilot has outstanding control response. Have a look now at what the pilot sees from the cockpit in flight. Notice the excellent visibility unobstructed by engine, propeller or structure. The smooth, quiet four-cylinder engine driving the big, slow-turning propeller together with the absorbing Kevlar structure ensures low noise and vibration levels. This same technology is now being employed in the two-seater version, the Bush Ranger, with a 50-horsepower engine. This new aircraft will provide efficient cost-effective benefits for pilot training, agricultural spraying, surveillance, photography and mapping. It will even carry a stretcher for medical evacuation. It will get in and out of small areas, flying on that very efficient high lift, low drag wing, all at very low cost. The Seabird can be fitted with a survival parachute. It can be mounted in several positions, but the position shown under the wing is convenient. A strong bridle goes back to the top of the centre section. A one metre drogue chute deploys the main 10 metre canopy in about three seconds, allowing the whole aircraft with pilot to descend gently to the earth. It takes about 20 minutes to derig the Seabird and load it on its transport trailer. In the background is the big hangar being erected that will house Seabird's developments and flight test centre. But this time, it's back to the workshop at Harvey Bay. For the small Seabird, the future could be unlimited.